Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Jarvis Green. Jarvis Green is on a row, honey. He's been sending me all types of stories this week. So what's going on is that basically, if you guys remember a few weeks ago, there was an emergency situation at Keene University, and basically there was somebody on Twitter threatening all the black students, and they were going to kill the black students, male or female. Now it's been brought to light who that so-called person was, and it's being brought to light that it was a black female who is an ex Keene University student. Her name is Kayla Simone McAvoy, and basically she was on Twitter pretending to be a white supremacist and threatening to kill black people. You know, this whole situation to me just makes no damn sense whatsoever. You know, and for her to be a black woman and be behind this, to me is just disgusting. All this is doing is once again making Black Lives Matter look stupid. It's cheapening the movement and it's sad that people are so thirsty for validation and attention that they're now trying to create something just to go and write against. And I don't understand that this bitch is a college graduate. Does she not think that the FBI cannot trace this back to her computer? That's why I say a lot of times book smarts to me don't matter. It doesn't matter how many degrees you have, how many certificates you have. Some of these book smart people are dumb as hell when it comes to common sense. So you're a college graduate but you think that the FBI cannot find out that you're the one sending tweets to King University and you know causing mass hysteria you know the whole situation is just disgusting and really damn ridiculous I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary no activist here on campus and for the most part she was kind of respected you know um, somebody that you know is looked at as somebody that actually knows something about what's going on on campus and what we should be feeling about how pe black people are treated it makes the people that are really Really being activists about you know what we're doing here it makes it discredits them so she just plotted this whole thing to get us threatened I know some of these guys even all of us basically skipped class the next day most of them went home and all that and it was for nothing really students at Kane University react to this afternoon's news that these very threatening tweets I will shoot every black woman and male I see at Kane University I will kill all the blacks tonight, tomorrow, and any other day if they go to Kane University. And other similar tweets came from an African-American former student. Police say 24-year-old Kayla Simone McKelvey was participating in this days-long demonstration in the center of campus, supporting other colleges' black rights protests. Right here in front of the clock tower at Kane University is where this student protest was. And according to investigators, this young woman went there to the library. And that's where she set up the Twitter account. Using the handle Kane U against Black, she sent the threatening tweets, federal investigators say. They'd been working no fewer than five fatal college shootings at the time. McKelvey has now been charged with third degree creating a false alarm. It is our job to protect their constitutional rights to free expression, and we will do so. We will remain committed to that. But sometimes someone or some people will hijack that constitutional right. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And like I said, I just think this girl's ridiculous. And I definitely feel like she should be charged. If anything, charged with a hate crime. Because if this was a white person who was caught sending out those tweets, regardless if they were plain, if they were dead serious, they would be charged with a hate crime. And I think she should be charged with the same. And then also, is she going to be reimbursing the police department back for their fruitless effort of, you know, having to find out that it was her? Is she also going to be reimbursing back the students who missed days of school because they were scared they were going to get shot on campus? You know, we live in a crazy world we had the mass shooting out there in San Bernardino you know there's terrorism amongst our mists you know there's all types of conspiracies amongst our mists as well but we live in a day and age where you can't play games like this you can't get on social media and threaten to kill people and hurt people and then think that the feds are not going to come after you I mean this whole situation to me is just disgusting the fact that she would fan the flames of hatred and fan the flames you know just to cause more chaos and more you know division it just makes no sense and it's sad that 
people are such attention whores nowadays and they'll go about doing anything just create drama just to create chaos i definitely feel like this girl should be charged you know this whole situation makes no sense whatsoever anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment how do you guys feel about this entire situation you know how do you feel about it coming out that this was a black woman who sat there and lied and sent out these tweets to kill these university students do you feel like this is a hate crime what she did because let's keep it real if this was any other race if somebody from a different race sent out these tweets regardless if they were playing or not they would be charged to the fullest extent of the law so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces